The United States is a nation of drivers. Unfortunately, we're dependent on foreign oil to fuel our vehicles. Last year, we imported 2.8 billion barrels of oil, much of it from the Middle East. But there are alternatives that can move us towards energy independence. New technologies now make abundant, domestically sourced and clean burning natural gas an option. Before natural gas can become an everyday fuel for cars though, safer and cheaper fuel tanks need to be designed and tested. Currently, the only option is high pressure compressed natural gas tanks. And really the problem with that is the cost of the storage tank, the size of the storage tank, and some of the safety issues associated with this very high pressure storage. Researchers are now looking at less expensive, low pressure tanks utilizing adsorbed natural gas. Inside an empty tank, natural gas molecules tend to repel each other, but are attracted to surfaces. ANG tanks are filled with adsorbent materials. At a molecular level, the crystalline structure of adsorbent materials contains trillions of identical pores that attract the gas molecules and greatly increase the available surface area for gas storage. The result is smaller, safer, conformable tanks that can store larger volumes of fuel. It's not as simple as filling a tank with adsorbent materials, though. Cost and mass of the adsorbent are issues, and the temperature and pressure inside the adsorbent tank needs to be regulated to optimize fuel capacities and engine delivery. Savannah River National Lab is investigating light, inexpensive, adsorbent material-compatible heat exchangers. So we've tried to take advantage of existing technologies that are already on the market, such as the hexagonal mesh that's used as a lightweight structural material within aircraft wings. Aluminum has a great heat exchange rate. Uh, heating and cooling, it'll, it'll transfer heat quite well. And the other advantage is that it's, it's very thin, so it's very light. And then on top of it, it takes up less volume, so that means you can actually put more of your material, your absorbent that's gonna hold the gas into your tank itself. Savannah River National Laboratory, a recognized leader in gaseous research and development, is now taking adsorbent materials out of the lab and onto the highway. We understand the thermodynamics and the physical characteristics of the material. We modify those characteristics to meet the automotive demanding systems that need to be built, and we're developing new systems to, to meet these, these new materials. It comes down to economics. If you could drop the price of the actual tank, and then of course all the subsequent components that require, the idea is that the car companies now will find it attractive. There is the potential of it being quite a significant impact on a total global scale.